True Bear uniquely brings to you, the live radio broadcast by Mazin MT Kanyo, from Nuremberg, Germany, on the 10th day of August 2019. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us more often for the very best of Bear Friend videos. Enjoy it. Radio My name once again is Chukudo Tsoye. I am serving this very great family as a German national coordinator. And I have nothing to regret about that. I am very, very proud to serve this very family. Ahmadike himself is stepping in. Holy, 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 Namde Kano is another Savior. Holy, 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 Namde Kano is another Savior. Holy, 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 Namde Kano is another Savior. Holy, 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 Nam de Kano is another savior. I Please, can we take our seat? Can we go back to our seats, please? Can we go back to our seats so that we pay appropriate attention to the great gospel? Please get back to your seats. We don't want people to be walking around. I have said it earlier, if you want to make video, try to do that from your seat. We don't want to see people standing. Please, we don't want to see people standing. So that people were, those that were sitting behind will still see Ahmadike. And, um, if you have something to give up, this is your time. This is very nice. All hell! All hell! Ahmadike, you are highly welcome. You have shown us love. Great love indeed. Every minute of the day, you call on us. That makes us very, very special. We are very, very proud of you. May Chukwu Kabiyama bless you, continue to be leading you. Biafra, we must get. In the name of Chukwu Kabiyama. I welcome each and every one of you here gathered. You have to excuse us. 
because it's a live broadcast, I have to sit down for the duration of my address. Maybe after that I will stand up, we will switch off all transmission, and then I will be able to address you privately. This very program this evening is coming live from here in the city of Nuremberg in Germany, in front of an audience that I believe are hardcore. Is that correct? Yes. Only in Nuremberg, not even the whole of Germany. It is my pleasure to be here, and I'm delighted to be amongst you. You are very lucky here in Nuremberg because I brought with me our deputy as well. Uche Mefo is here with me. IPOD! IPOD! One family! IPOD! It shall be well with all of you. And our sister is also here. Nenayanya, she's here with us. And uh, tonight from here we shall preach this very gospel. The gospel of truth and redemption. From this very hall this evening, we shall, all of us, speak the minds of our people. We shall address every issue that is of pertinence and of importance to the restoration of Biafra insofar as it affects us as a group and also as a people. I welcome each and every one of you. As it is customary, we must pray. Before we commence, this is a live presentation, by the way, I will indulge, or should I say, ask each one of you to please switch your phone to vibrate or to silent, because the whole world is listening. When we preach this very gospel, humanity comes to attention. Everything we say is gospel. When we preach it, it resonates amongst those who are of good conscience. And ultimately, as you well know, the zoo must fall. There is nothing anybody can do about it. The zoo will fall eventually. This evening, we are going to pray in two phases. Is there any titled person here? We pray in the name of Chukwokika Biama always, as you well know, because the restoration of Biafra is spiritual and not temporal. It is in the gift of Elohim to give that to us. Is there anybody who is titled who is here? Who is traditional? I mean proper tradition. Please come forward and give him the microphone. I want him to pray for us. Oh, hey, Biafra. Aka Biafra. Aka Biafra. Aka Biafra. Am I getting any more? Can you get a Can you move? I go to the gym. Can you get a number? Can you get a number? Can you get a number? Can you Bobby, be African moon. No, be African moon. Chukoko Biama. I need wine. Need wine, would do. I'm man and can can. Now, Virgin Akirika. Dominican, no. I will go No. I share. Benjamin, I can acquire. I die. Adamo Biafra, you can hang him. Cognetto, the Honorable Cognetto, Nuremberg, you can hang him. Can I make you Bobby Bo, Biafra, IPOB, a boy in Bonassi, Coenci, Yazel, Chukoko Biama, Anima Yun, Bobby Bo. 
ana biafra anande no no ne no nezi as no nezi no 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 nezi no no nezi when e kuo chukwe ko bi ama erohim biko biko chukwe ko bi ama kwa na belani kwa na ibo za ye gbaku oro nyo za chukube is the one on wagi abia kukulaya igbo kwa na ba ye me kwa na ibi ju ebu ama gida kwa na ke ye tu ga magida Bico, an ibo bi ibo ana biafra bikon ibo bu nunu no bi anu na lai belai anu mo god ibo anu ma yo ban kon ma un ganhou Aro, 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 aro. I'm making him bog no no. Because ban le kenai, ban le blani, no na kwa lo mu. You no need no no. Munani, you wey no no ke, I ya chewu no table ebu. I chewu no. No catch of room. I need to never and bobbin up. Because I am a noon neighbor. You won't as well. Oh, Munna Bonaz. I ain't a boon. I ain't now. I ain't can I go on like a corner. Yes, any, any, any. Hero him. Anna Maya. To go cobiama. Cobiaba. My line on a duino. Tata. Gozion Chamofon. A coco, a marica, the coo, boco, the return, the jason. I am mota. A maracan can miss soon can know you, money. Mother, mana, I have a cavaro call motan. And we buy a conniva, I call it one. I can acquire moon. A marica, I can hang him. Can go mambala. I P O B O, 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 I P O B
them who them wear. Indigenous people of Biafra, led by Supreme Leader Mazinda Monte Carlo. Oh, my dear, you could come and I had wanted to sit down, but it seems to me that I may have to stand after all. I came to Germany on a very special assignment, which I completed this morning. And I said I will use that very opportunity to see some of you, especially those in Nuremberg. The hardcore, not everybody. That's what I said. So we can sit down and interact. Uh, I'm going to go You know, your spirit to understand what he's doing. For me, I was in the spirit, I don't know for you. Our enemies have come. As I told you, they will come. When they are not raping our mothers in the farms or raping our sisters or abducting us from the streets, they are killing us at their checkpoints. And do you know why they are killing us? They are killing us because they want to destroy our morale. They them in years gone by. Now they have come to reap. And they are counting on one thing to succeed. That they will demoralize IPOB. That they will keep arresting and killing with the help of Dave Omahi and all the rest of them until we get tired, until we give up. Then Fulani will march into our land and take it over. The same thing they did to Awasa people. They want to do to us. They think we are cowards. They think we cannot stand and defend our land. And that is why I make this promise today, as I always make. And as I did from the beginning. Before Chukukika be am in heaven and men on this earth. That I will return to Biafra land and I will lead this same army. Until our land is free. The work we are doing, some of you may not understand it. It may be too complex, or should I say too spiritual, for the carnal mind to appreciate. But I'm so, I'm sure some of you can see, even when it's dark. That is why if you can see very clearly, you will understand where we are going to. We only have one destination, and that destination is Biafra. Nothing is going to stop it. My happiness is that our friends, the Yorubas, 
they are now waking up. That thing Ojupu saw over 50 years ago, that thing that we are re-echoing today, they have woken up. They now know that the Fulanese do not mean well for anybody at all. And if they don't take time or rise up, they too will be consumed, as I told them. I said to the Yorubas that your punishment will come. Did I not say that? It will come. It's a good thing they have, or should I say, Elohim has raised somebody for them. To fight their battles. I read some comments where some misguided and very foolish people were laughing at the fact that Shore had been arrested. And that in a very brief moment encapsulated everything that is wrong with us as a people. Shore went in immortal. The reason he will leave as an immortal. And then Yorubas will follow him. They are the type of people that we need in order for us to be able to establish one very simple fact that every oppressed people, every oppressed person has the right to be free. Only if you want it. Only if you want it. When you protest in a democracy, they arrest you. All of you are in Germany, is that correct? Have you seen people protest in Germany before? Have you seen people protest in Germany before? Did German police arrest them? Did German police shoot at them? Oh, police protect protesters. Do you see why we call them a zoo? When you protest, they kill you. Are you doing the killing now? Paul was in The criminal decision. They're trying to incite civil strife and rage. But Buhari, before he died, also said that if they lose the elections in 2015, that monkeys and baboons will be what? Will be what? But you see how they operate in the zoo. At. Because it is a land filled with hypocrites. Illiterate, bigoted hypocrites. Of them. I was way before I came here. My friend went to a program on AIT, is that correct? Funny was it, was it with AIT this morning, is that correct? And he said, he said, that's the problem in this country. He told her that to her face. Because she was trying to justify the unjustifiable. Here we are in Germany. The queue to get American visa is from here to Munich and back. People are struggling to go to come over here to Europe. People are struggling to go to live or to seek a better life in America. But in America, before they became what they are today, they protested. They fought a war of independence. They even fought a war to free black slaves in America. Wait. Two months better.
Do you know why we want freedom? Is it not so that our kids can go to distant schools so that we can have electricity? So we can have good roads. Is that not correct? Is that not why we are agitating? Are we agitating because we hate anybody? Is our agitation for freedom born out of hatred? Is because things don't work. In is because things don't work. In even Britain to be free. Are you aware of that? Ordinary people fought. You live in a country where your next door neighbor is fighting for you to become a better person, for your kids to go to the right schools, for your life. Support what you're doing. Out of whatever thing that I don't know, I don't know what it is in us black people, you join the oppressor to move somebody fighting for your survival. That's what is happening. Because I had a meeting with somebody in New York. They said he's planning. That was part of the evi uh, evidence they gave to the court. That he was in a meeting with me in New York. They saw him with a terrorist. I, I'm a terrorist and I'm in Germany. Who's in Germany? Do you see how we reason in that part of the world? Nukuzu <laughs> Kobun. They came neighbor in the hope that, let me tell you what they did. They thought when they are at Shore, somehow their friends will rise up and will start jubilating. They think we are foolish. And the Fulani will be enjoying. Can't you see them? And then they will come to Biafra land. They arrest one or two or three people. And Yoruba will be jubilating. And the Fulani will be laughing. So you don't know that is what they do. Anytime you support the enemy, you demoralize them. Do you understand? Because we are predictable. Anytime you tell the Fulanese that you are not predictable, they start to panic. I read an article today. Fulani are only 10 million in the zoo. Say, so is it seven? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they've grown to 10. And us, upstairs, after all, I used to live in England. I now stay most of the time in Israel. Am I related to, to Netanyahu? Is he my senior brother? Is any of you here related to Angela Merkel? But I'm sure you prefer to be here than the zoo. Is that not correct? That is to tell you that politics has no coloration. Nothing to do with who relates to who. It is who does the right job for the people at the right time. Anytime Fulani wants you to hate somebody, I suggest you love that person. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear I said? When you see evil happening, you must confront it. They said wood is coming here, is that correct? Who invited him here? Where are they? Who invited them? No, I just want to ask a very honest question. If you are one of them, just raise your hand. I have a question to ask. No, they understand. That's all. Is it that he is a defender of his people? What are you telling him? I want to understand. We cannot be fighting and dying for a Biafra that will contain all of us. And some of you will go behind our back. To be inviting people responsible for the death of those fighting for survival. 
uh, 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 Somebody came and killed your people. In their thousands. They have refused to condemn Fulani headsmen. They will call for the burning of Madban. Mietiala. And you are inviting such a person. And you want us to go on fighting and dying. So that you can come home to Biafra land to lead a good life. Is that fair? Is that fair? Let him come here now. It's not possible. 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 Because if you don't have conscience to understand that this man works against IPOB because we said no to elections in the zoo and uh, those who are doing revolution now I ask them this question if they had boycotted the election do you think we'll be having all this useless debate now? Huh? We told them if you vote is meaningless. They said we are warmongering. Hate speech. Why are you voting or allowing a dictator to rig himself into office and then you come back and you start to protest? The greatest protest would have been for you to boycott the elections straight away. But don't let us rest. So we have to show them that voting is basically null and void. Do you know what um, Oshomole said? Do you know what he said? That uh, Shomole should not have contested now. Is that not what he said? Is that not what he said? Ah. But we told them not to vote. There is nothing good about Nigeria. There is nothing good about the zoo. But they won't listen. You people don't listen. Those involved in the invitation of Mwodo to this place, you have no conscience, you have no soul. You are wicked than your evil. Because of money, one chong go or maybe connection, you want to give your card. I think I'm a mama cage. In case anyway, security contract, or cleaning contract. I want you to understand the depth of your wickedness and shallowness. You have no morals. You have no scruples. And you have no conscience. How can you invite a man that said he sabotaged Biafra before? He will sabotage Biafra again. Look at one her police. I am asking you, ignorant man, what are you celebrating? Is it your ignorance that you're celebrating? What are you celebrating? Do you see our problem? Do you see how you're holding yourselves down? I have been saying this all the time. Che Guevara came to Africa to fight in the Congo. After a while, he left. They asked him, you know Che Guevara, don't you? You know him. You know him very well from Bolivia. He fought with Fidel Castro for the liberation of Cuba and in Guatemala in a few places in, in, in Latin America. 
He left Kong after a while. They asked him why. He said because a black man do not understand what freedom is all about. He will always put the need of the stomach over and above his self-preservation as a human being. That he cannot fight with such people. In Apomodo, Eleganya, one or two senators, yes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to come. The same people responsible for the mess you're in. But I go, 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 go. I go on. Now, Jim Milioko, can you remember that one trope ages here, Babikun? I be Do you want to be Afra? Do you want to be Afra? Yes. Then why are you inviting wood? What has it got to do with Biafra? Huh? No, I want to understand the reason or the justification for inviting them. Nobody can tell me. Have they said anything regarding the small boy that was killed, Chimobi? Have they said anything? I was told today they issued a statement calling for Shobore's release. Is that correct? Did you read it? Did anybody here read it? Or maybe it's fake news? No, no. I'm saying, did you read Ohanese's statement? You have not. Maybe it's fake news. These are the people who are killing you. And you intend to invite them. You have not asked them what they are doing back home regarding the menace that the foreigners are posing in our land. The death that they are causing in our land. But they are junketing and gallivanting all over the place without a single solution. Had they not moved against IPOB or called for pressure pattern dance against IPOB, Fulanese will not have the temerity to come into our land. So you don't know that. Because anytime you're divided now, the enemy will come in. Don't you know that? And that was exactly what they did. Ah, some of you are inviting them. In a country of impunity upon impunity, we don't have before to speak up against the evil happening to us. And some of you are hobnobbing with them. For what? To serve what purpose? What are you looking for that you don't have in Germany? What else are you looking for? Perhaps they are seeking relevance. They want to belong. They want to be seen that they know Ohaneze. And by the way, a world is living in December, you know that? His tenure comes to an end in December. Don't you know that? Oh, you don't know? Oh. His four years comes to an end in December. And it will be the turn of Imo State to produce the next Ohaneze president. I'm telling you that. Maybe Okurawusa will come and, and run for it. And then some of you here will invite him to come to Nuremberg for Iriji for 2020. Our land is under siege. Monumental siege. If you keep quiet, our mothers will be raped. Our WhatsApp people did exactly what some of us are doing today. You know what our WhatsApp did? Do you know what they did? In 1804, 1805. Oh, they said uh, they are fighting corruption. That the Fulanese will help them to get rid of their corrupt leaders. 
And where are they today? They are now irrelevant. They came and they arrested, uh, what's his name? Is it Maurice Wu? Maurice Wu, when was he the INEC president? How many years, how many decades ago? <laughs> they came for him. They are alleging he committed 1.2 billion naira fraud. They went to court. The court set his bail bond at 1 billion naira. Do you know the man called Ibrahim Lamode? Some of you may be surprised. But do you know there is no Igbo millionaire in dollars? Do you know that? Uh, they don't know. We don't have, do you know any Igbo, Uche? Do you know any Igbo billionaire in, 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 in dollars? Do you know anybody? Huh? Only a battle goes to four by four, saying I want to Second hand, four by four. Maybe, or probably from, imported from Germany. Do you know those that have the money in the zoo? On the Fulaniji this morning. And the money belongs to you and I. All the way from Omambala Basin to Okwa to Ndoni to Akwete, oil and gas belongs to us. But when they come to your village, they pick one person up and give him 3,500. Take him to Abuja and tell him from today, your title is Ochoros. You are now an Igbo leader. Uburwan choncho change in that banana he will be sent back to the village to become your leader. And I caught her, I caught her four, four years ago. Meanwhile, they are taking what belongs to us. Do you know that people are dying of cancer in Iguacha? Do you know that? And that women are having miscarriage in Iguacha? Are you aware of that? Sometimes in Iguacha, you go outside and you touch your car, you see a film. Carbon everywhere. People are inhaling. You go and tell them, what is killing you is in this carbon and Biafra can stop it. They'll tell, oh no, you, you are trying to deceive us. Oh, when you're one. Do you see how foolish we are? Can you begin to understand how daft we are? But imagine Fulani in their cleverness with their dirty cattle all over the place. When Boko Haram was designated a terrorist group, Buhari, when he was alive, he said no. Lai Muhammad said no. El Rufai said no. Oh, Boko Haram that goes about killing people. And in fairness to them, you know, I don't blame Boko Haram that much. I'm sure you are aware of that. Do you know why I don't blame them? No. They killed their leader. Yusuf. They killed him. They killed him. And said, what can you do? We are Nigerian police. We can kill anybody who like. That's why you are where you are today. It broke around. Have you heard of any northern governor criticize Mieti Allah? Have you heard them criticize Fulani headsmen? 
then some of you are inviting somebody that criticized their own people. Some Yorubas are about to make the same mistake with Shore. The same. Football persecuting you. Destroy your the gold of Jonathan, they said petrol was at, is it 85 uh, naira per liter? I don't know how much it was. 80 guinea. They said, if it's a scam, they corrupt them. Has subsidy stopped? Has it not gone up? But nobody can see because they are using the same template of 1804. We are fighting corruption. We are fight Meanwhile, they are busy stealing and conquering you. But they are counting on the fact. Anyway, fact, maybe they didn't reckon that IPOB will come. Have we not opened the eyes of the zoo? Have we not opened it? Before we came, who would have used the word revolution to come out to the street to protest? And now they have seen how we do it in IPOB, isn't it? You know, tear gas, it has stages. Small one, the middle one, and the big one. I book you up, I bet, and I book you recruit, bank, and we'll small one. Everybody, everybody. Protest finished. <laughs> but we have been protesting since 2015 till today. I feel sorry for the zoo, honestly. Imagine the day we will march. What will happen? Heaven will bear us witness. The day we will march, the sun will not set. So, so, can you stand? Revolution of war. <laughs> they asked them, they said, we are now going to start on the 29th of August. <laughs> or some 19. A postpone, we got to 29th of August now. And a postpone is here, postpone, uh, protest. And though they called miscreants held the zoo down, head bridge was blocked for four days. We know how to do it. And I'm saying to them in the West, we are only waiting for them to start, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? And I'm telling them tonight, on the bridge, for, we will shut down beyond one week. I said, Third Mainland Bridge, for every hour they stay there, we will be on the streets of Biafraland for one week. Can they do it? If not for Ohaneze and your governors, I remember somebody telling me in those days when I went to court from DSS Dungeon. You know what the person said to me? That if they want to bring me out from here, I should say no. Yes. I was driven from DSS to court. Somebody came to me at the height of our protest. For my release. And said to me, if they ask you to leave here today, tell them no. I looked and I said, why? Yeah, imagine her name outside though. That's a gun that the zoo will capitulate. 
I thought he was joking. The next day, Obasan just said, an Igbo man should be the next president to pacify us. But when said the same thing, but those people you are inviting to come here for eulogy, you know what they did? You know what they did? They went behind and said, what can you give me? My daughter just graduated from Maryland University. What can you give her, please? They came out and they condemned. You people are stopping traffic. Our economy is this, the economy is that. But now that full and heads men are killing you, why can't you talk about economy anymore? They destroyed it. Oh my, these people, this people, they are the Zuzu. Had they supported IPOB at that time, the zoo will come and invoke what is called doctrine of necessity. They will sign it and beg and say, please, come 2019, the presidency is yours. Whatever you want, you can do with it. The same thing now that going back and saying, oh, he, uh, any woman that wants to vie for presidency in 2092, uh, uh, start now to build alliance. In Anokwakoko. You are the ones destroying every opportunity you have had to move forward. But it cannot happen anymore in IPOB now. It, you know it can't happen. Because we are going to be free. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Understand where we are going to. Some of you don't know. They said it will not last long. After a while, they will disappear. They are, uh, uh, he's looking for relevance. They looking for relevance. They want to keep now. He wants to be popular. Uh, Miss Class will guy name now. Miss Class Amaka. Yes. Yes. But we are still here today. Fighting for what we know to be right. Because men died and women trying to protect the ideal that IPOB has become. And the only way we can say thank you to them for laying down their lives for this very movement is to restore Biafra. No other way. We are not like anybody you've seen before. We are not. And you will not see anybody like us ever again. This is once in a lifetime opportunity to restore Biafra. We are asking for Biafra to be restored because those in the zoo called Nigeria, they are all evil people. Maybe not all of them, but those are the helm of affairs. When Jonathan was in power, they called for protest. People came out on the streets to protest. Nobody arrested them. Were they arrested? But when you do the same thing when they are there, they arrest you. Everybody is a terrorist apart from Fulani headsmen. And you keep quiet. You know, the US government is very clever. You know what they said? It is for Nigerians. It is for Nigerians. To deal with the problems of Nigeria. It's not for them. If you think that somebody from abroad will come and tell you, oh, this is Jubril. He shouldn't be there. Then you're dreaming. How many of you here knows that Buhari is dead? Huh? Huh? 
it was when they convinced all of you that that thing there in Asorok is Buhari, that they realized how foolish an average Nigerian is. And that is why their headsmen can kill with impunity and nothing, nothing will happen to them. Has any headsman been prosecuted? Arrested? The one they arrested in Taraba, they killed the policeman that arrested them and set him free. And they lied and denied and said oh, it was a mistake. Not up to 24 hours, the same thing happened in Edo State. Do you know that? In Edo? Vigilante in Edo. They killed the vigilantes and then released the headsmen. And some of you are still saying, I'm a proud Nigerian. I'm proud to be a Nigerian. You don't know what you want. You're not serious. So when we say that we are being insulted, you know they're killing blacks in America. You know whites are killing them in America. Are you aware of that? Uh -huh. Do you know why they're killing them? Because of what is happening in Africa, especially the zoo. They know that we can't... That's why they can kill us. If your so-called government can kill you and get away with it in broad daylight, go and connive with judges. A judge in a court of law. A judge. Before you bring somebody before a judge, you must have at least rudimentary evidence. As you are, they can uh, catch him when he's going home. And say, uh, you're a terrorist. And go to a court to obtain what is called ex parte motion or whatever, or judgment. You know what it means? You and I have a problem. I run to a judge. Instead of the judge to say, oh, who do you have this case with? There is a saying where we come from. I don't know for some people. There's a saying where we come from. Now understand why I want to leave the zoo. We are natural justice dictates that you must hear from both parties before you rule. The somebody who says she has PhD in law is a judge, has been doing this and that, and the elite can go and decide on a case brought by one, one, uh, Ali Kali from somewhere. And you're not there. They obtain permission to detain you for 45 days. And you ask the judge, but what did this person do? The judge turned around and said, what I'm just giving you is, um, is, uh, appetizer. If you want to detain him more, come back, I'll give you more time to detain him. But what did this man do? Oh, he called for revolution to do what? What is the ingredient? Oh, he wants to protest. But did you not protest five years ago? But that doesn't matter. They have pocketed everybody. Including some of us, our common sense. That is why fallen headsmen are everywhere. They kill us and they run to their police barracks. They kill us, they run to their army barracks. And I have told them, Today is about the second day. I think the army has responded to what we said yesterday. That okay, Zipaz is lying. Every checkpoint in Biafra land must go. Every checkpoint. If they don't go, we will compel them to go. You cannot tell me that in the north where there is Boko Haram, Miyeti Allah, full and headsmen, bandits, there are no roadblocks. No checkpoints. 
But in Biafra land, every kilometer is a checkpoint. You say you won't give them money and they kill you. All we do is we carry you and we say, we no go grill, we no go grill, and we bury you. And then that's it. And tomorrow they continue. It can't happen now. They must leave our land. The same world that you are inviting to come here to eat G with you. One of the planks of his campaign when he was running for Hanese, he said, I will fight to dismantle the checkpoints in Igbo land. Is that what he said? The only thing he will be remembered for is sabotaging Biafra. Is that the type of life you want to live? Is that the type of country you want to belong to? That is why the death of Chimuobi can never ever be forgotten. There is always a time, there comes a time in the history of the people where you must say that enough is enough. We cannot be killed in our farms and then you come out on the road for no reason. A so-called security, whatever nonsense they call it, operative, will come and kill one of us and they go scot free. It can never happen. And you will make sure that it never happens again by the support that you give to IPOB here in Germany and by consequence all over the world as well. Because we are not relenting. Some of you may not see a lot of what we are doing. But we are doing quite a lot. I assure you. If you recall the other day Osibajo was begging for unity. Is that correct? Do you know Osibajo was begging for unity a few days ago? And only this morning, I think I'm back at the same. Is that not correct? Yes. If there is not something threatening the unity of the zoo, would they say what they said? No. It's common sense, so. If, if nothing is disturbing the zoo, will they say what they said? No. That tells you that we are doing something. And very soon, result of Makadi Mama. Yes, um, we will take calls now from people. Do you have a, my, my, uh, the, the speaker here for them to? Have you announced, have you announced the number, no? Was the number announced? <coughs> or maybe we can start from here. There are those here with... Yes, let people stand. You have to come forward if you have anything to, to ask, and then...
The microphone is not showing. So do we have anybody who wants to ask a question here? You raise your hand and then you'll be called forward to ask. Uh, you know, I don't like murmuring. If you have any question to ask, you ask. Ask anything that is, you ask, I'll ask. Okay, the wireless. Oh, uh, uh, please, if you have a question, please step forward, please. Um, my name is Maze. I'm a local model. Ghana's presentation for the network. Please, sir. Um, my question is not really what you said now, but I want to be clear. The first of them, the one million man march you called last time in America. Is it for only those in America or other people from other areas? It's all over the world. If you can be in America, please come to America. Because we will do it. Yeah. It is for everybody. And I want to announce this number for those who may wish to call in to ask questions. It's plus four nine, is that correct? That's the code for Germany. Plus four nine one five one two nine zero nine one nine four eight. I repeat plus four nine one five one twenty nine zero nine nineteen forty eight plus four nine one five one two nine zero nine one nine four eight please can you also put that perhaps on um on Facebook as well Um, thank you very much. I don't know if anybody read or is aware of the UN report that came out. That was about three weeks ago. Is that correct? Is it three weeks ago? It came out. Did you read it? About what is situation report in Nigeria. Did any of you read it? You're not aware of it. And I judge in the UN. UN, they're going to hear one good night. No, UN issued a report to the zoo. And the report was quite explicit. United Nations for the very first time referred to us as people from Biafra region. Is that not correct? So what else are you looking for? Nigeria is a sovereign state. So they have to tread very carefully. We are making our case. We are articulating it. And governments around the world are receiving it. And that is why the zoo is under constant pressure. That is why Ushibajo, the vice president, can rise up and say that uh, pleading for unity, the same thing that Atiku did today, because something is happening somewhere. We are mounting the right pressure everywhere. And when the time comes with you and you be, you will know about it. You don't need to be, you know, ask any questions. Unuga, before the year runs out, Unuga, no near now. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, this is uh, Nicholas. You know. Yes, Nicholas. Go ahead. Hello. We are listening. Go ahead. Yeah, Nicholas. You know, calling from Biafra land. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Precisely. I believe that 
Ana in the by the churches, the Kaham, the very college. We are members, the Kahana, but I joined the Biafra. Now I just said that in some section of the people, there was this Biafra agitation for the Kahia, not for the Ophomenana. We are in the in the Edibere, you put IPOB. In fact, how they criticize some churches, which even not have a bundi, the population to tackle whatever going on in Nigeria. They have the, the, the population. So I believe that the Africa was able for every religion, free for everybody to practice, despite na uh, Christianity, the Arabia. But it's a religion practiced all over the world, one of the oldest religions. So, I got a work against me, a senior work. I have been a Muslim ballot, now I got some big churches. So, because you know, only one book in India, or this would be So, I have my own suggestion. I want to get to me because they wouldn't be broke, but I'm taking off coats. And you know, most of what you may say, this old to one of the most important thing is that the most important thing is that the most important I am a Christian, I don't know how we are being accommodated in taking this oath. Many of us want to come in, but because of our, our religion, we cannot do that effectively. We are being sidelined. I think I saw something coming and I be here and about that. Kahane, I be here, man. So only if you get to me, I know you go. Kah, over there, I will never tell you about it. You go, I will try you Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, my dear brother. Thank you. Call, call the call. Um, my dear brother, I know he's listening, and his intentions are very honourable. I saw him on your chip when we are no more. Yes, no more. Was when it in a platform of born again. If you want to worship doll baby, may a doll baby. Can a jeep plastic name bad and tagger. Then Nanya go and go in the Kenny who go and go on both for the doll baby. If you want to worship the baby, please go ahead and do so. Onyena. Onyena. For me and my household, we worship Chukukika Biyama. Elohim. Whatever you like, you can worship. That is your business. But regarding taking of oath, you must take it. If you can take oath to serve the zoo called Nigeria, why won't you take oath to be in Biafra? Because we don't sabotage. We are the largest mass movement in the whole world because we are disciplined. Because we are under oath. Solemn oath not to betray Biafra. Then what are you afraid of? When you are in America, you take, you swear allegiance to America. I'm sure it, before you get German citizenship, you swear allegiance to Germany, don't you? All right, all right. So why won't you swear allegiance to Biafra? That's what it is. You must. Because first and foremost, if you practice Judaism, Christianity, Omena, Lord, anything you call it, first and foremost, you are a Biafran. And your allegiance lies to Biafra, not to any religion. That is the only way we can build that very land of ours. Religion is a personal business, you and your God. But everybody must be under oath. The same people that are complaining, are they not the pastors who are being killed by funny headsmen? Do they know if you're under oath or not? A people you see, they just kill you. Please, you should take the next call. Yes, please go ahead. Hello? 
Can you, hear, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, please. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Hey. Yeah. No, I cannot hear you. Hello. But we can hear you very well. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear, please. Your name and where you're calling from. I don't got network in this room. It's coming from Germany. Another call. Please, your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from. Is it Sergio Joshua? Yes, it is. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh dear. Zandi, I want to follow you. Calling from from where? The biggest city in the world, Lagos. Hey, no wonder now you can't I hear want me. To know. Doctor, but you gave me my phone. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. We are listening. Hello. Hey. Doctor, but you got again. Please, uh, next call, please, if you may. Uh, I forgot to tell them, please, if you're calling, once you call, we pick your call. Start speaking because the world is listening, please. The world is listening. Don't wait to hear your voice back again before we proceed. Anybody calling or do we go to the audience here? No calls coming in. I mean, the line is jammed, I believe. Any other person here with anything to say before we close? Yes, please give him the microphone. Thank you. Yes. Um, you will give the address to the coordinator of where they are. They came to Anam and we drove them away. We have driven them away from four locations in Eboin. From five in Enugu. And we shall continue to do so. Tell us where they are and we'll move them out. As simple as that. We've been doing it now. We've lost men. That is the uncelebrated war that is going on, which IPOB is fighting on your behalf. And some people are busy inviting in their world. Give us the address. They will leave. We know what to do. We know what to do. Do we have any call on the phone? The call on the phone, can you hear me? Hello? Nothing is coming through. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Your name and where Hello. you're calling from? Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Hello? People want to hear you. Yes, good evening. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, yeah, sometimes there's a delay. Go ahead. My name is, uh, I, I, I hope that you, you can hear me. My name is Haji Sistu Sunand. I'm calling from Germany. Yes. Yes. It's my pleasure today that I, I can call this humble home, uh, at the one family. I want one suggestion on, and I can just not to waste your time. My own suggestion was, I need to go ahead and go down now. I don't know who nigger, but I need a man announcement. So you will have the ready to fight for Biafra. Or we might alliance with the Israel government. 
Aurundezi, no, no, Germany or another, another place like Italy. They are the interest, again, the interest. And go to the, uh, Israel. I'm going to tell you some training. And as I made this, this training, I will not, uh, uh, Bugan, Nazu, every day can be moved, every day can be I am not going to be a man. And I will not believe in me, he trained Bugan for two, two days. No more, you Bugan, he trained for three months, more, you Bugan, Brutal, no more. Because the thing about the man, I'm not going to defend me. My name is Jun Jun, which I'm going to be ready to have a good house in Naha. On a higher good day, they secure good my fatherland. Even the missing about the one I'm not for you. And I'm going to have to look up what I'm going to be busy. All on the year, just in my name, all senior our image is the government. A man, he said, I want to have your name, which is the government. I mean, I want. About <laughs> On a son, everybody will get back a culture, our laws are wonderful for all. On a son, so I have more to do with my contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Uche, can you turn the line off? Um, thank you very much. Did you all hear what he said? Yes, yes. Did you hear him? He's one of the best calls I've had in, in, in years. He understands the urgency of the situation. Our dear brother here, maybe when I was telling them that the Fulanese are coming to take our land, they didn't believe me. He's a living witness. His village is gone. Our brother who is calling doesn't want his village to go as well. So he will fight Burata himself. Let me tell you why we must be prepared before we march. If we start anything today, they will go to the nearest village and raise it to the ground. Did you see what they did in, in Bayelsa? Was it Bayelsa they did that thing? Because they are cowards, they don't know how to fight. They specialize in killing civilians. Any day we march unprepared. Before we march, we must make sure we can defend every inch and every territory of our land. Anywhere you live, they'll go there and bomb the village and kill everybody to demoralize you. That's how they are. And if that doesn't work, they'll kill our people in the north. That's what they do. I know them very well. So we must be prepared. And don't think that because the US will to announce everything we do or to make it public. No, we are doing many things, I assure you. We'll get the Unuga here. Don't worry about that. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Some of you will be here. We'll fight for you in the village. Don't worry about that. But support what we are doing. And don't, inv don't invite any award and do to her. That's what we are saying. We'll fight to defend your villages. Don't worry. Tell me where the problem is in Oka. We've been doing it to you, so you don't know. So you think that Fulan is not in our land killing anyhow because uh, uh, because of a miracle? Is that what you think? Is that what you think? Do you know how many of us they have killed? 600 or something. Are you aware of that? Why have they not done it in their foreland? Because I be So what they have done. They have not done it. Without our POB, a crew in Ako Fufu. Back home. A crew in the US, a crew in the US, a crew in the US. Yes, please go ahead. The, can you hear me? Is he there? Or she? The, the call on the phone, can you hear me? No, you answer the call. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? 
Four leader. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling My from? My name is Emeko Bioha. I am from Emoji Province. Yes. Uh, I have a question for you. I want to know if you will or you are considering to open the same Biafra A that you opened in America here in Europe. I reside in Cologne and I would like to participate. Even though I'm in our unit here and I pay my dues too. But I want also the same aid you, the other aid you put in America to do the same here in Europe. Because we have some other friends of the France here in Europe who will also like to contribute. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. Thank you. Thank you. We will try and see what we can do. But you know that freedom fighting is a very expensive business. Are you aware of that? Expensive. The cheapest consultants in the world to do any work for you will cost you over a million dollars a year. $85,000 every month. And without their services, you're not going anywhere. Do you know that? Have you tried to go to court before to go and argue your case yourself before a judge? Do you know what the judge will tell you? What will the judge tell you? Go and do, look for, go and look for, go and look for. So you don't just lie in international politics. Huh? For you to see Angela Merkel, a German political consultant will take you to her. Or else you write email and they put it in, in spam folder. Let me tell delete here. It's a very expensive business. Very costly. And our brother said a very good thing that we should open up the same Biafra Aid Foundation here. I want to most of my maga you but I bo. In time here in America, go to neighbor. Huh? Huh? Oh, come on, can't you? My mama do good. Just now, four point four trillion. Keep on your own. Only two thousand dollars. Please, next call, Fina. The call on the phone. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Thank you, thank you. Call to her, call to her. <laughs> you, you don't know if Fulanese have come where he is. The, the caller on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? There's problem with the phones. Can you hear yes, me, the caller on the phone? Hello. Yes, please. Raise your voice, your name, and where you're calling from. Hello. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling can you from. Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Uh, they, are, they are waiting for their voice to come across Hello. the radio. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. I can. But you can hear us. I don't think it's from here. I can, can you hear, hear you. Me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can and say the only thing you can do you can The next person, please. How does this phone actually work? Can you hear me? The caller on the phone. Can you hear me, the caller on the phone? Anyone there? There's somebody there, but I think there's a problem. I, please turn off the um, of, of the calls. I'll make something um, public. That will be on Monday.
there is a woman at the Zoo High Commission in Accra recruiting Fulanese across West Africa and shipping them down to the zoo. I have her picture and the pictures of those that are moving down to our land. And in case you don't know, they have also told their women with children to reside in Biafra land. So they have come to stay. The one happening in Oka South. Is a settlement, is that correct? Is a settlement. They have come to stay there, isn't it? So as we are looking for a visa to go abroad, they are entering 911 to come down to where we are. As I told you before, the same thing that happened to the Jews. Because nature abhors vacuum. The more you leave your land to come out, the more the full will come to occupy it. And they're coming from all over West Africa. And we're in serious trouble. They call on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what uh, what uh, I still want to add, I have called before, and what I, I still want to add, you can help me to tell you to understand because uh, the more the more I I need to, with this struggle of a thing. I wouldn't do when it is the government or anyway, I did a meeting with the government. I'm not what is required. I'm matter what is required. She can make it officially. I don't go prepare the euro, euro, no, 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 I want up to one million people can say yes, they will support in this, understand? I want to like the standard support from Israel. We need standard support from US. We are ready to match. Understand? When you, when you, when you want to cross the city, cross the desert, cross the city, I think it will be like an entryway. This is what is required to stop the Afra. I have people, I, I'm ready to. You don't have the only thing I have. When I say yes, it is the, the, the financial support. I am out here because the more you utilize, the more honey rep for women. Now, more trade for Nani na libo. For Nani na, because in 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 Are you people aware of what is happening in Libya? Are you aware of what is happening in Libya? Do you know who is supporting them? The rebels in Libya? It's um, the government of Bahrain. Do you know who is financing every other liberation movement you can think of? There are countries financing them. But you are the ones financing. All these things you've accomplished is you, you financing IPOB and the grace of the Most High. There is no millionaire, none, supporting us. Not a single soul. What we need to prosecute this very liberation struggle and succeed is not much. But at the rate of the money you're contributing now, it will take us approximately 28 years to raise that level of funding. You don't have it. And some of you are not charitable enough to give. You don't have it in you. It's not in our nature. I was telling some people the other day that we built Imo State Airport. You know Imo State Airport, on Dambakwe? We built it. I don't know how old some of you are here, 
But I paid 10 naira survival levy. My parents gave me the money and I paid. And I was given a receipt. Some of you here may have paid as well. Did you, any of you here pay survival levy? In Imo State? Our mine was 10 naira. I think maybe some traders paid 15 naira. I don't know. We built Imo State Airport. Launching after launching after launching. That was when I knew that we, uh, we, had, we had no millionaires in Igbo land. That's no millionaire. Mbakwe did launching in every, every major town. Yet we did not raise enough money to build Igbo State Airport. Then they taxed everybody, including secondary school students. Ten, ten naira. And we paid. You people are not generous by nature. You don't have it in you. A Fulani millionaire can give Boko Haram $20 million. Continue what you're doing. Have you heard anybody call Boko Haram miscreants? Or call them names? Not one single soul. Instead, when they rape the mom, the mom will come back home, suffer full any disease and die. And uh, he will bury her in Homer Jeep. And buy six cows to bury her in with. That's what happens. So it's not in you. I, uh, I don't blame anybody. It's in our nature not to give. Why do you think Ojuku lost the war? Ojuku bought arms with his father's money. Nobody gave him anything. Even though he gave the money to go and buy arms, some ran away with it. Some bought fake arms. And when those guns and bullets ran out, we lost the war. So you don't know. Do you want us to fail again? Do you want us to fail again? So my name will go down in the history books. And I'm the kind who also tried and failed. God forbid. So I want to be prepared. So I'm to you know B. The bill is not much. Yes, it's not that much. If you consider it. But it's because we don't have any millionaire. To be honest with you, we don't. Happy Hannah, men all know, it's just smile, they don't have money. Even if they do, they don't have the spirit to give. And that's why we are suffering. In Awam, that if there is one single millionaire from Biafra land, and Biafra will not come within a matter of weeks, huh? We have gone very far. My brother is talking about Israel. I gotta go, I got me go. Just, um, little help and then we are gone. Is anybody on the line? Please go ahead. The color messenger, go ahead, all please. All yes. All, all here, Biafra. All here, Biafra. Um, Alpha, I'm Bo. Here's an Alpha, I'm the Niger. I'm calling from Moscow. Thank you, go ahead. Do, I, I have a question. Go ahead. Is it, uh, my question is about finance, um, levies. I would like to know if it is proper. For a member of IPOB to collect levy on behalf of the family and claim to have ordered the money to the finance headquarters without proof of bank transfer to ascertain that that money has been actually sent to a headquarters. I have raised this question so many occasions, but nobody was able to answer me. So I like to use this opportunity to ask you directly to help and clarify this situation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Somebody collected money on behalf of IPAB. Do you hear that? Somebody collected money in Russia. And did not send the money to IPOB. Did you get, did you get any money from Russia? No. Nobody got the money. That's what we are seeing. 
And tomorrow he or she will say they are hardcore. Nobody is allowed to collect money from anybody. Just pay your dues only, that's all. Or your contribution. And I must commend those of you. I believe this is the hardcore in, in Nuremberg, is that correct? Hmm? Everything, anytime you see IPOB, we are begging IPOB, this is, I, is you, is what you're doing. It's you that is doing it, nobody else. That's Kobo Koba Fafununato. That's what we are using to do what we are doing. Don't collect money from Mr. B or Mr. F on behalf of IPOB, no. Direct them where, where to go to. Or to your financial secretary. That's how to do it. Don't collect on, from anybody. Because what we do is, because you have contributed, you have contributed, you think that every other person shouting Biafra, Biafra, have also contributed. Is that not true? Eh? It's just very few of you who are paying. I think Germany was number one before. Where are they now? Is it number three or four? No, but they're no longer number one. No. No, that no no they are not. And do you know why you're no longer number one? Do you know why? In my mom got a Munich. I got I got to unu see no na bale. No no number one. Eh? Oh you want to guy here and all has. That's what happened. And today Germany is no longer number one. Before you were the highest contributors to IPOB worldwide. And I wish you can go back to being that once again. You know. Please. That, that is why we are full of pride. Nobody feeds us. We do what we are doing. IPOB funds itself. The same thing that we are doing every other freedom fighting outfit in the world. Government sponsor them. Go and ask. In the history of the zoo, when you many going here before IPOB, has anyone done it before? It's from your contributions. Germany, UK. Is that UK is number two, isn't it? Who is number three? Learn it in India and Mayhem. Number three. Italy contributes more money than USA. Can you believe that? Yes. Italy. I must commend Irania, Michael Irania. He did very well. Okay, Irania can do share. Irania, the real one, Michael Irania, that did work in, in Italy. Very fine job. Set up IPB family everywhere in Italy. I said everywhere in Italy. That's why they are, they are number three in the world. But all the rich, rich countries uh, like Canada and America. Because for us, things are always in reverse. But if it's a black person, once you're there, your children are wearing socks and uh, sandals to go to school. Other people can go to school barefooted. is not your business anymore. But I'm grateful to Germany. At least Germany is a civilized country where people go to work and they are number one in the world. When I remember it, that's what gives me hope. Do you think that sometimes I don't feel bad about our condition? Some of you have fun, I don't. I'm not with my family. So that tells you what we, I want Biafra to come today, tomorrow, so I can settle down at least. Before I die. So I, I don't, some of you don't appreciate the pain that goes into what we are doing. It's a very painful process, I assure you. There is no fun in it. I don't know you just take Germany. I beg of you. Please. There are calls? Sorry, who's on the line, please? Your name and where you're calling from? Yes, please go ahead. Are you hearing me? I can hear you loud and clear. Your voice will come through later. Please go ahead. 
So I, I, I have a little contribution concerning. I'm, I'm, my name is Alex, and I'm from Delta State. So I have, a, I have a, a little contribution concerning this issue. Yes, go ahead. Because uh, the issue of uh, Biafra involves everybody, you know. So at least uh, I don't know my opinion can be still right, you know. Because anything from the, the zoo called Nigeria, it must be taken by force. Because doing it uh, 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 in a peaceful way like this, I don't think it will work. So I believe that uh, Mazi Unandi Kanu is, uh, is countable. And I believe with with his power, we, he can do something that can make things possible. And for me, for my own opinion, I think uh, making a good relationship like one of the international countries like Russia will be more better for we to have that liberation quickly. With that so it will be very difficult. So I need Mazuma Dikano to look into it. That is my contribution because we need this Biafra now, not anytime else. It must be now. Thank you. So thank you very much. That's my contribution. Thank you. Yeah, I'm coming from Germany, yeah. From Germany, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm a part of IPOB, but the thing is that I, I, where I live, I don't see any group or any people that is, you know, holding this meeting and all those things for me to, because I don't, I don't know Let the side that you people Start are right yourself. now. Whether in, uh, because the other time I watched it from, uh, from the, uh, I'm living under Christ Air for the Northern Westphalen. Do you know that area? Westphalen, Westphalen. I've heard about it before. Um, is it this old off? In Northern Westphalen, Northern Westphalen, Westphalen. is a place called Airford. Okay. Okay, we'll try and get his number. We'll try and get a national He's coordinator. To Billy Fett also. We'll get a national coordinator to try and link him up with our people there so they can start a family. Somebody will call him. Yeah. Uh, now, nah, Yeah, my name is. Delta. My name is Alex. Yes. Uh, I'm from Better State. Somebody will contact you. Somebody will contact you. Don't worry about that. Somebody will contact you. Okay. Uche. Hello? Yeah. Someone will say something here. He's, he's, he's one of us. And he wants... I like the desperation in our voice now. As I said, when the time comes, everybody will be looking for IAPB to try and do something. And that time has come. Uh, we need funds and but it's not funds that you can bring together it's not possible you know do you know how much one attack helicopter gunship costs huh uh, no you don't write an agreement you have to show seriousness freedom fighting is like any other business the person you are going to to sponsor you is like a bank and the bank manager will ask you, you want to do business of 200 euros. How much one do you have there with you? Isn't it? They're asking us how much we have. If we can buy, listen, if you buy, if you go to a company and they show interest, they want to help you. You can buy equipments worth, say, $50 million. And somebody will underwrite one for 200 million. So you carry for 200 million. You pay 50 million. When you finish the war and you're successful, you can pay them back. That's how it's done. You don't go empty handed and be saying, try and help me. That means you're not serious. And as I said earlier, when it comes to international diplomacy, the same level of consultancy we have in Israel, in America, we must have it in Germany also. Do you know that? Everywhere you must have it. And the zoo, they have our money. 
And anywhere we go to, our consultants in America, I went to them, held a meeting with them. I didn't want to tell any of you. Somebody from, when they started to make inquiries, Nigerian government offered them two million a month. The same thing they did to Atiku Abubakar. Do you know that? Yeah, you don't know. When am I here now? Atiku Abubakar hired consultants from the U.S. The zoo went there and doubled the pay. And asked them to represent them as well. Church <laughs> Basa. And that's the end of it. But uh, we are lucky that we have men who are honorable, that love Biafra genuinely, and willing to work to make sure that Biafra comes. So they turned them down and said no to them. And what saved us was because I warned them that the zoo will come to them. I warned them that the zoo will come. And they did. So, uh, of course they did. Uh, that is That is the type, people don't know the battle and the wars we are fighting every blessed day. We are just like, you know, a dog in a pond. You think he's moving very serenely. There's no problem. But if you go under, the, he's busy paddling along. Who's on the line? Okay. Uh, good evening from here. Oh, uh, I'm a big member of the issue group place where I'm a good evening for here. My little three remains okay for the notion one for Mark. I'm calling from what's of Poland right now. Thank you. Originally based in Sweden. I have my question to a member of you and you. Go ahead. My questions are this. Uh, please. The number one question I want to ask here is the issue of command and control. I'm only pleading with the leadership of IT audience, especially Ahamadika and you, Makamwa Uchemefo, to see if there is any other way you can regulate it. Or better see, change it to obey and command, because a lot of people are hanging on that command and control and doing what they are not supposed to do. <laughs> Second question is, about this, our struggle, our men are being killed. Our boys are being killed in Biafra land. And if I could remember vividly, uh, people of Amazonia, we were on top of them before, but now, where are we? And another concern I have here is this. I would suggest, uh, I wish, that uh, the leadership of IPOB can form something like a de facto government, which will help us a lot in this struggle. And, uh, yes, hello? yes, go ahead. We are listening. Go ahead. Yes, Richard, talk to him, please. The zoo that uh, wishes, uh, hello? Yes, go ahead. Hello? Yes. Yeah, my brother, like I said, I am pleading that if the leadership of ISPOB could afford us the opportunity to create avenues, because we have a lot of people who are wish, willing to come up with us and do some needful about this our struggle. Because like always say, Ekron Eke, if there's anything the leadership of ISPOB can do to at least give a hand a free hand to some people, some hard cause in this struggle because these are our people being killed, we are not happy. And if there is any other way, if there is any other way possibly, we can help. My, I and Rabbi Charles, we have been calling and calling and calling, but we are not getting through. And there are a lot of wranglers in Biafra land. Please, we want to, the leadership of IPOB, please, to make sure that all these wranglings here and there are being checkmated until because this struggle, our boys are being killed, our men are being killed. Okay. This is my take this evening. Mechiko Kabra must give us wisdom, protect all of you, give all of you good heads, so we can be able 
to go back to where we belong. We are tired of this Europe. We want to go home. Thank Super you. Kaba, I bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. He talks about command and control. Command and control is key. Without discipline, we would have fallen to pieces by now. There has to be discipline. That's number one. And number two, he said that Ambazonians have overtaken us. <clears throat> yes. Nobody is allowed to misuse it. <clears throat> Nobody is allowed to misuse it. Command and control simply means being able to obey your superior. That's all. Not when they are committing a crime, you condone it. No. That's what we're saying. You report them if they commit any crime. That's what we're saying. And nobody's ahead of us. Do you know how many years we've been active, IPOB, under my leadership? Uh, how many years? 2012, we started broadcasting. That's Radio Biafra. IPOB was not constituted formally. Until when? 2000 and it was 2013 we started. 2013 we started. 14, 15, I was arrested. Is that not correct? For two years. Is that not correct? Should I say for three years? Because I was in communicado for a year. Is that not correct? That's, that's 2005. 2005 I was arrested. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 2005 I was arrested. So that tells you. We've only been active with my leadership of IPOB for less than four years. Active, less than four years. And look at where we are today. Is there any office you go into, any foreign ministry you will go into on this air that don't know about IPOB and what we are doing? Huh? We want to be prepared now. We will march, but we need to be prepared and fortified so we don't fail. That's all. And discipline will help us get there. And Uche, please, we have to take uh, people from here. And then I'm sure the time they paid for the hall is coming to an end. Is that correct? Is that what I said? Are, are you sure? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody here wants to say something then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, go ahead. Come closer, please. And why is it not to, why, is it, why can't we hear it through the speaker? Go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I am very grateful for the question. And, um, as you say, the call to advise IPOB in Nuremberg. As you said, it is the consistency that matters. Nobody is as consistent as IPOB is. I said nobody is. Not as we are. In, in the Bible. And also in real life, even today in Israel. They remember those that defended Jerusalem. Do you know that? That is the same way. By being in IPOB, you are immortalizing yourself, your name, and your family forever and ever. Because there will come a time that little children will go to school and they will ask them, was your dad a part of IPOB? Or your mom? Because in Israel, there are two people, the Haganah and the Egon. These are the people that fought for independence. That is the Labour and the Likud party in Israel. And if you don't belong to any of them, you are nobody. Until you have fought for Israel, you cannot open a petrol station in Israel. You don't know that. Three station, you cannot. You must have fought for your country first. Some of you see what you're doing as um, as a child's play. No, it's not. That is why you must intensify your effort to make sure that Biafra comes. And then when it comes, you see how people will look at you. 
you see how they will regard you. Then you know how important you are. Because nobody can come out and say, oh, it's because of my money. I gave it to them. We say it is because of IPOB and the grace of Elohim. That's why we are who we are today. So I ask you to try and redouble your effort. And don't invite the likes of Mudo to come here. Because you are insulting the memory of the dead. That's what you're doing. You can't bring somebody here who said he was about to Biafra. And yet he wants Biafra. It doesn't make any sense at all to me. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Hello, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. I'm Bifani. Not from Italy. From Italy, go ahead. Hello, sir, can you hear me? They call on the phone, can you hear me? Good evening, sir. Good, e- good evening. My name. Go ahead. My name is Ifedri Chuku. Okay, so I'm calling from Netherlands. From Netherlands, go ahead. Let them protect you anywhere you are going. In the you mighty see? name of Yahweh, how should I pray? Uh, Madike, my, I'm happy to hear your voice since you come out from prison. Thank you. May the Elohim that bring you out will carry you, raise the flag of Biafra. In Yahushua's name I pray. You see? My first time of communicating with you on radio. I'm hearing about you and I'm happy to talk to you this night. All I want to say is this. Every contribution everybody is making is very, very good. But you, God has choose you to bring a solution. To the end until we get Biafra. Continue. But my own, my own, even Nayobu, Mbosi on a Biafra Bia, Nduni Nabu, Ndu Tuahaneze, Ndaran and Dratolo, mostly in Nayang Wood, Okezi Pazo, Nkadun Dumbuan, Rusia to Kolota, Will you be a no? Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Some people are very, very, are highly upset. Very, very upset. Do we have those that want to ask questions here? I thank you, my dear brother. Thank you very much for calling. And your advice is well taken. Please go ahead. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I am very, very saddened because of the experience. That's, that's what some of us pass through each time we go home. Because the Fulanis are in control, they are in power. They can do whatever they like. But the worst part of it is that the governors that they rigged into power, like OKZ okay, Bazo, have actually empowered these people to continue with this impunity in our land. Because they see us as a conquered people. That is what Ohaneze and the Igbo governors brought to us. I won't, I won't tell you how we are going to do it. But they know they are going to find it very hard soon. And somebody commented a while ago, uh, and said, um, what are we doing? There are some operational details I cannot divulge live on air. But what is happening in Yoruba land is not happening in Biafra land. Though they are trying. It is not happening because of IPOB and what we are doing. I cannot go into more details than that. We are stopping them from doing what they are doing. Huh? We are stopping them. Thank you very much. The next person, please. Thank you very much for that. Um, 
you will see me if you, you say, this is a juice bug or is it, is it a, a functioning IPOB family or you've just started? Or just two months? Just, just getting people together. Is the national coordinator, are you aware of? No. Okay. But you need to know him then. Yeah, I'm connecting the... Okay. It's a good thing you're doing because uh, we keep saying to people, if there is no IPOB where you are to start one, and that's what you've done. So you need to see him and then finalize a few things, yes? And then we'll arrange for us to meet. Okay? Um, thank you very much. We will, for all of you who are here, we are going to have a meeting, a very brief meeting of, of microphone. So we can have far more frank exchanges. Yeah? I think that's the best thing to do. So at this time, this time we'll be signing off for our listeners all over the world. And we'll pray that you Biama will keep and sustain each and every one of them, wherever they are around the world. And that we shall reconvene very soon. I don't know when, but we shall reconvene very soon. And until then, um, from here, it is good night, isn't it? Good night, all of them. Thank you very much. Radio be a Where do you be afraid? Where do you be afraid?